Here we go. It has been millennia since the fall of Emeria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Wow, it's Remurians beautiful. Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. Wow, it's beautiful. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Is this Fontaine? Thus did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land. I'm going to ask some dumb questions throughout this. Under a symphony based upon it. By the way, he believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. Hello, please. Let's take a look at the trailer. Dude, the way the voice actor on occasion we hold barbecue trailer. dinners at the house. Trailer, trailer, trailer. For food, compete with each other, even cooperate. She's glitching. They enjoy participating in activities like that. <gasps> and the feeling is mutual. She's so cool. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Like who? What does she Something mean? Has come up. And since That's Sino. The Cyrus and Sino. I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan. Shrouded I'm kind of new to the game. I don't know any of these characters. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival. I just finished Inazuma. Okay. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of Whoa. project. Whoa. Project Stuja. Participating in the plan that lose a lot of members in the process. Oh my but gosh, this all looks so beautiful. Meet again after that monster looks awesome. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Arla Kino, she's so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. Must pull. Everlasting at the moon. That, that old animation. Oh my God. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. This father is so cool. This, everyone involved is going to be punished. Father's children. A traitor. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been Who is that? Us. Who is that other character? I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have oh, her ideas. wings. Why is she so cool? Answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture. Her animations. Allow me to remind you, Helen. Like that, it's so cool. What? Make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Her heels, did you see her shoes? I'll do as I'm told. What the hell? And I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration. Oh my gosh. What? And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a trailer. Dun, 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 dun. Hello everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact Holy version 4.6 cow. special program. Yay, what did everybody think of that? Welcome. Rate the trailer out of <laughs> okay, 10. So I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. That was like but a character demo. That was like a character teaser. All the all the above. To share some information with us today. 
Hey everyone, my Your name poor is boy Fremi, what happened? What happened? Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as Why are the subtitles in German? I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of Dude, the Dude, I should have had the subtitles on the whole time. Yeah. And I didn't know if they were going to be like not correct a or not. Of the House of the Hearth. We've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. Hi, Whoa, Ito. It's me, Max Middleman. <laughs> hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Bye, you judge bye, based bye, on the story bye. quest? The Arlequino <laughs> story quest, everything that they just showed looks Let's really, really cool. The new content from version 4.6. Oh, they're right, like right into it. Travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence Whoa. reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization. The animation looks so Fatui. cool. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay. Like what? This sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is, is there more news to hear? Not yes, yet. It's going to be in the update, the right? Is a rather complicated <laughs> orphanage, and the knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So, how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it. New information. Yes, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. First, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. Y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Art ah, Quest, I'm muting I my ears. Arlequino was really I'm muting my ears. I, I'm not watching. Her Somebody tell me when it's safe. Chat, tell me when it's safe. Folks, I finished watching. She was also I finished completing the Inazuma <laughs> Archon Quest the other day, so I'm a little bit behind. I know that this is like totally spoiler territory, but I'm trying to. That's just an I can. I'm trying. I'm trying to save myself. Like as a parent, I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link. Am I safe? Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father okay. uh-oh <laughs> yeah strict um hmm. all right it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression okay yeah, she sure does i think arlequino loves all of the house's children equally and she would never treat them harshly for no reason though the kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude it's probably for their own good in an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough. And no spoilers. There was no spoilers. Age, okay, you know? I trust you. Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this? <laughs> I, I have my headphones back on. I've been. I I skipped. <laughs> to like she the kids when like she like that said that in the Archon Quest of Fontaine, I took it off for like Ooh, ten seconds okay. after that. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Keep okay, the secrets. Okay. Um, I do have a question though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well. And why does why does the Genshin Lakino's impact past, then player base call her father too? In the game, that's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, let's go. I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But. I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate our Lakino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Now, what is this about? Feature while playing our Lakino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. That doesn't right. tell me and anything. In the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. Like getting quest locked <laughs> as a new player to Genshin Impact, yes, getting, quest locked, cool. like, <laughs> yes. getting quest locked is one of like the absolute worst things that could happen. It's so Let's frustrating every time it happens. Elegant, yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue. Yeah. Her character abilities. Let's see. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. Oops. I can't promise you'll like what you see. 
transfixed. Her animations are so cool. Folks, is anybody going to get the weapon as well? Like, you got to get the weapon if you want these sick animations. It's like the number one selling point. She's got one wing. What is all this about? This is where you fall. Yeah, early stream. The live stream is live. So we want to watch it. <laughs> she's so freaking cool. She's so sweet. I like how she glides. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Yeah, a ballerina of death. I like that. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlecchino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you yeah. What is this? How does this work? While you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Not yet. I haven't. Still remember what a bond of life is? Nope. I'm totally blind. Are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, okay, I see. any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes, right? very good, student. <laughs> when Arlequino has a bond of life I'm still confused. or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. I'm and still confused. In this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 it's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's I'm lot. so confused. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, yeah, that's simply, that's one way yes. to put it. Yeah. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so it, it, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah. Sephiroth vibes so. for sure. And otherwise, she'd have to. She's she's majestic as heck. Her. <laughs> Actually, no healing, but big kind of damage. <laughs> you know what? That makes. <laughs> Uh, Why didn't they I'll, I'll put you in this special program? Skill doesn't just that makes way enemies, more sense than anything they just said. Blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and okay. heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. Thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Dude, I like characters like this. Oh, so They're I very self-sustaining. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. I like. Like I love characters like this. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, I love right, it when the so voice actors Arlequino get to just like relax, kind of right? Whenever she Talk a little more casually. Down. I like it. Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. The yeah, one wing is crazy. Isn't that nuts? Pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, like there's hanging out. It's a really, it's a really it's cool vibe. Time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. Show me the banners. Show us the banners. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. Linny rerun. The all new five star confirmed. Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Yeah. Also. The Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Wanderer and oh, Baiju. Gosh, Is anybody amazing. pulling for any of the rerun okay, so characters? And Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. Let's <gasps> discuss the new weekly boss. Oh, Arlequino! Right. We of course. We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special Do you see that art? Isn't that such amazing art? Website. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new name? Yes, ready? I am ready. ready. The new name. See these animations, dude. I'm over here grabbing as many screenshots as I can. This is crazy. <laughs> it 
Save me some time later. Right? These animations just look super, super, super cool. I'm glad that they like, like, holy cow. Oh my God. Like, it seems like her jacket, like her outfit changes for this as well. Oh my gosh. And the boss arena looks super, super cool too. Wait, this is crazy. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, that'll be so fun. I love dodging attacks like that. Oh, that's going to be sick. Wow. Wait, Not that's going to be so sick. I have seen this side of her before. <laughs> so the name is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You need She's more copies so for her to be useful? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I have no idea what her <laughs> constellations do. Even more badass with Oh, looks cool twice, during the boss fight? The yes, she too. does. She looks awesome. <laughs> the name's other side she'll appear normally at first as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson waiting to counter your attacks yeah it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range mm. yeah god she's whoa like she's that's a cool mechanic all in the palm of her hand <laughs> i mean you wait that's a cool mechanic if you're out of her range she dodges your attacks that is so like, cool instead she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Mm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But Ooh. if you he almost made it. out heal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? Yeah, I don't know that you would. I think you would yes, yes, rather yes, yes. go for her signature weapon, oh gosh, like right? Rather than constellations. Once again, I I don't know. I haven't even reached the end game of Genshin, so I don't I don't know what the meta is or what folks are saying. But I think folks are pulling for her weapon mostly for animations, right? The cool, huge red scythe. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah. Let's go. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, hey, they'll that's be able me. to challenge her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, going that's to the cool. domains tab, selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. Wow. Oh, that's, cool. that's a good a quality nice of life change, for sure. To the battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Okay. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Whimsy? Those who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. They're putting cool. whimsiness into oh, Genshin Impact? finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so <laughs> short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. <laughs> okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. What? For some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, Sino Story Quest Part that. Two, Act Two. Right there. Oh, oh right. Confirmed. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence if the situation gets too complicated? Are you excited for the new stories? Very good I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to do them eventually. Probably wouldn't be able to guess I'm so far behind. A Gosh, I'm still so far behind. To the mystery will make his debut during the case. There's so much and stuff to do. Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. Those are a lot of popular so, yeah, characters. If you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath. Is that how you sand. pronounce it, Sumeru? In due time, of course. <laughs> I'll be calling it Sumeru. <laughs> totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Sumeru? <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has Wait. some important information to share. You love this group? Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah, 
this group of like VAs has incredible chemistry. Too much information too quickly. Can, can Oops. We, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of it, please? I mean, please, please. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code codes. before we continue introducing the new content. Hey, codes, codes, codes. <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I We know. like codes, folks. <laughs> w T K B M B D. 8 Z Z R Z Code number 1 Code number 1 pinned on both platforms Let's go. I can't wait to 100 premium gems and 10 uh, pink crystals. I'm not sure what those are <laughs> What are those called like I know what they are But I don't know what they're called Oops. Folks, thoughts on the on the program so far? Everybody excited? This art is still just so cool. Do you see this this art of R Lakino, like the version art? It's still so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Back, everyone. Hello, so, please. We've already told you the story of Arlecchino and the House of the Hearth. So, why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? Sure. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Ooh. Cool. <gasps> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now looking forward to a lot of stuff, especially the new boss village. fight. Yeah, we love we love new right? boss fights, yeah, and that one's like cool. On That's a character that this we're really really excited to fight. At rest. So how big was this? Looks really really, really cool and really really real. pretty. Now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. Is that why there's the cat event the right now? Is that why there's the little cat event? <laughs> oh my god. Dingo, thank you so much for collecting 100 <laughs> daily moons. That means you've been here for 100 streams. I really, really, really appreciate you. I hope you've been well, my dude. grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Just a little guy. I'll be spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria room with the cat the kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach you'll meet a dragon in the deep seas <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. so you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony which will help you a sea the cat of Remuria. how cute you'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization this looks really really cool time and place it's like it beautiful it's so like a little hidden sunken city yeah this is a new zone in you know, fontaine useful for solving puzzles during your adventure as a cat person you approve oh, of this statue sits <laughs> in a yeah this statue cast. thing this thing looks so cool immortality and glory this thing looks so cool it awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler oh yeah that's right the statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss yeah it looks like a boss fight materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge yeah. i'm so hyped for it <laughs> Me oh too. my gosh yes and damon you did such a great yes, job with introducing it that was great <laughs> that was great yeah. damon wait but real quick quick question yeah. how do we even get to such a remote little island that yeah what's the idea question travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom. That's me. Okay, we're good. Unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Hopefully okay. This helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so is it recommended to like cool. do any of that? All right, I've never used any of the teleport waypoints to go for forward. Now. Like I did the recent event. Of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I did teleport over there, but. Of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. What? Rock and yeah. roll? All right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section.
take a look at today's second redemption code. Code number two. Right. Code number two. Up. Oh. Let's see. Code one. Let me type. Code two is E A K A five B U. Nine H H R M. There you are. Both codes are pinned. Oop. Awesome, awesome, Welcome awesome, back, awesome. Everyone. Hello, please. Okay. Rock and roll Ito? Wait, who is all that? tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. You see Kuki Shinobu <laughs> in the background <laughs> over here? Do you, you see her? Tell us more about Hanging it? out? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So, I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Shin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, Let's go. Oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent. Goro invite? Rockin for life tour to force Goro awesomeness event invite? Let's go. Wow. Goro was really cool the in the Inazuma story quest. That was awesome. Life, specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. Yo, what? will he be singing? Oh gosh, that's gonna be He's awesome. holding the microphone. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive like, will the voice story. actor be Dvorak singing? Jack will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to Yo. travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Wait, that's so cool, though. So if you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the Do game, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. more amazing performances Whoa. from all the so it has... musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since this, that's so like a lot of notes. In the festival, you could you could make some music on that thing for sure. For life tour to force of awesomeness. Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Events with Number Ito one, are always fun to be sure. This is my first ensemble. one. This is my first one. I'm still like games. pretty new to the game. All the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Oh, that's fun. A rhythm control. event. Oh, that'll it's be so much fun. The trillion trinket troll, the trillion trinket troll, the trillion trinket troll. Trillion trinket troll, trillion trinket troll, trillion trinket troll. Venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with excited to make new music. I'm definitely going to check it out. I'm definitely going to play. And lastly, you love rhythm games? Me too. Me too. Me too. Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Yo, After let's go. To their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to. Oh, hear I like sing. this a lot. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, oh, I like this point. a lot. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma, over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Whoa. Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? What? Wind Trace yeah. rerun? I love Wind Trace is back? And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah. How did it change? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters. Just I've heard like that Wind before. Trace is really, really cool. I've heard that this is awesome. Yeah, Wind Trace is yeah, back. Wind Trace is so fun. I can't wait to play. I can't wait to check it out. Period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their timeout, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> what? That does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. 
The Rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and okay. Rebels can work together to repair these devices. And Hunters will either need to prevent the Rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are I can't wait to play, device, everybody device in the community. Let's play. It'll be a fun time. Signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, okay. the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose... Play the game location. not even for the rewards, oh just gosh. because it's fun? <laughs> These sort of that is a great the endorsement game. of the Wind Trace game mode, for sure. To play. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. What does that mean? Rather strange. What I mean is this a silly little hat is for using unusual ingredients. And he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Ah, what is a regisfine? Not just a pyro regisfine. He also wants to befriend a primo geovision. Bye bye, Millie. Have a good rest of your day. Terror shroom and the Have a good Nini. Pearl Seahorse. Uh, you guys heard me the first time. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian. Natlon, that's the new. That is the new sense. zone. Wait, that's the new. Did the new region. Came back Nation. From Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to know the okay, details, we're gonna, we're, they're gonna have to start teasing the new nation. <laughs> they will. It's time for me to introduce the game. Show me the gameplay. Show me the game. You got it. You got it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Who can also talk to what's the rewards? To adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active oh, strategies cool. and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. That's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play this sounds strength. awesome. This looks really, really cool. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, They've announced like 40 like events. Event I am connecting different vibrating crystals overwhelmed. To generate different effects. I'm a little overwhelmed. Aaron, I am There's so been a lot of content in this oh patch. <laughs> that means that so is much incredible. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow Dude, you can you imagine having all of those five-star characters? That's so many five-star characters. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, set a That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, the Forge Ooh. Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. I know that there's a lot of folks here who enjoy the TCG. Should I check it out? Should I finally check and out there's the be TCG? An overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Hi, Flopper. Why did I have to put in five things you want back to back? Okay. Right? Okay. This live stream is freaking packed. There is so much content in this. I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know, a little break, a little treat. Okay, it's just a little treat. <laughs> Let's check out the the, the, last redemption. the final redemption code. Let's see what it, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> Show me the code. We gotta put in these codes, folks. We gotta get all the stuff that we need. The last code is nine B three A M T C Q Z 
Y Q nine. Let's go. Oh, I typed it and it's not even in all caps lock. I typed it, I'll buy it in undercase. Crap, I have to do it again. Oh, I, I'm so scuffed. Oh, I feel so scuffed. Oh, I feel so scuffed. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they've put a lot of work, a lot of content into this update. There, It should be really, really fun to play. I can't wait. I cannot wait. As a Wanderer main, I now have to choose between Arlequino, Wanderer Constellations, and the signature Welcome weapon. What are you going to pick? Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Okay, system optimizations. Let's go. We love quality of life. Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue. Whoa. Where you can use one click to. Oh, please, soap. How are you doing today? And then craft your desired. Wonder signature. Ooh, that mm. does actually sound. As a wonder, I mean, you gotta get it. Convenient, so convenient. The avid our system will also be updated so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as hey your let's go display. wait that's so cool oh, that mask is cool avatars i need that mask yeah i need that mask oh, and there's you see me you see my mask i need that mask avatar and more is amazing so many more i'm sure lots of travelers like them treasure compasses have also been updated its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The Wait, that's so useful. Include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's so it's time useful. To eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Let's go. Eradication. Oh, yeah. Eradication. <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go you want C6 R5 Wanderer? OST wow. Will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. music Let's go. So Put it on streaming. Oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left. For oh us no, to it's over, oh, dude. It, this one packed. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, so it's not so. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have an answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. I think we uh, all are. We did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Oh, look at the is. clap. Yeah, yeah, she's so cool. Oh, she's so, so cool. Freaking cool and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things mm. and that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yeah, it's so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin. So he is going to sing? In, in a long time recording, so. Um, you think he's going to sing? That's amazing. I sure hope so. <laughs> wow. I'm excited for all of those things too and i'm also really pumped for the wind trace festival because i love it so much <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6 so i hope Seriously. everyone's excited yes. i am i sure am Yay. folks is everybody wow. excited 4.6 this was so fun being here with you today i'm so glad <laughs> i got to be here with you guys, it's it's fun, guys. Like, it's a great time <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So bye bye now. We will see you all in game. See you guys bye. in the game. Okay, bye bye, bye now. Bye. <laughs> that was so awesome for me. Nine out of ten, and I don't even know what the one point that they lose is from. That was really, really, really good. Thank you so much for watching with me. I really, really appreciate you. If you enjoyed watching this video of my reaction to Genshin Impact 4.6 special program, 
Father Arlequino's reveal, please consider liking, subscribing, and I hope to see you again in the future. Take care of yourselves, be good, and bye-bye now.